some people have been trying to figure out how to do ears. Well, I've come up with a couple of ideas here I wanted to ch share with you. This is a outline for the cloth to cut for the ears. This is a short ear, and you notice there's a center line. Uh, this would be for a larger ear. Uh, it would be cupped, kind of like that. Uh, the fabric actually would be glued down the last half inch of this bottom piece here. You can see the notch about that deep so that it could be glued to the top of the, the head. And this is my operating mechanism. Now if you imagine this area right here being inside of a plastic tube and glued to the top of the head, that would be a pivot point. So when the ear is in the upright position, this little stop I've got uh, right here, this little stop will keep it from going any farther up. Now, if you put a small tab off of the hanger somewhere right in here and put it out, you could attach a rubber band to it so that it would pull the ear back up. And on that same tab, you could put a mechanism down into the head so when you pull it, the ear would drop back. Like a deer, dog's ear would go back if he was on the hunt or threatened. And then the, when you let go of that pull, it snaps right back up to where it's got to be. Now this could be put onto a circle disc of plastic with a pivot point and a lever so you could make the ear turn. And the same operating mechanism would still work because it's coming out the front through a hole to allow the ear to go back. So you could put it back and turn it back, turn it forward and let it go back, um, so or turn it forward completely so it's like an unattention or being scared. Just an idea, something for you to think about.